Welcome to Maryvale. Maryvale is a family-owned Napa Valley winery. We're right here in front of our tasting room located in St. Helena, right in the heart of the Napa Valley. Family-owned company, been around for over 30 years and we focus on sustainable wine growing at our three estate vineyards and turning those exceptional grapes into world-class wine. I 1933 kunne toget ikke stoppe hurtigt nok hos Sonny St. Helena, som Maryville hed dengang. Efter USA's 13-årige tørkeperiode, Prohibition, var denne vingård den første, som åbnede. Dengang som nu, med fokus på Napa Valley's typiske Cabernet. A typical descriptor of a Napa wine is an iron fist in a velvet glove. So you have big, rich, powerful wines, but they don't necessarily feel heavy, so they still pair well with food. But they're big and they're rich and they age for a very, very long time. Maryvale får druerne for egne vinmarker. To af dem ligger på bjergskråningerne i den nordlige del af Napa Valley, mens Maryvales andet mærke, Starmont, høster druerne til firmaets hverdagsvin i den kølige sydlige del af dalen. The fruit is primary. I love the years when the wine makes itself and, and you don't have to intervene. But on the other hand, and we have the tools to intervene when needed, and I think to not intervene is a mistake if the wine truly needs it. We don't believe in finding we don't believe in filtering. Really, the only thing we're adding is a little sulfites. Maryvales samlede produktion af Prestige og Maryvale-linjen ligger på 12.000 kasser årligt. Starmont med andre 90.000 kasser. Our mission here at Maryvale is to focus on sustainable farming of our three estate vineyards. We're blessed here in the Napa Valley to get some of the best fruit in the world for world-class Cabernet Sauvignon, Chardonnay, Pinot Noir, and then turning those grapes into exceptional world-class wine. I modsætning til Frans Bordeaux er det ikke lige fra varme og sol, Napa mangler. Men selv i dette optimale vækstklima, som er Napa Valley, skal varmen og solen tæmmes. It's a land of ripeness. That's the problem with Napa, is if it's not done right, it's too easy to have overripe, overalcoholic, unbalanced, to lose sight of the elegance. That's the hard thing about Napa. It's easy to make low alcohol wines. You just pick early or add a lot of water, and that doesn't make good wine. The hard part is getting the fruit and the extraction. And in Napa, it takes a fine tuning of the vineyard, which is something we work constantly on. Det er jo svært at vælte sig i frugtholdt, kompleks og ganske velsvagende Cabernet fra Napa uden at drage sammenligningen med samme vinsort fra franske Bordeaux. I definitely enjoy them on their own, but uh, the comparison is natural for me. It's unavoidable. We look to them as the benchmark, even as we may have surpassed them in in some ways.